Hi there, good morning YouTube. This is Sackboy Mahalo with another video. And this time, uh, since I've been getting, uh, we're starting to have uh, flower buds in my dragon fruit planting, I started uh, researching on how to make sure your flower buds, uh, or increase the, the chances of your flower buds to become fruits and it's for the most part uh, dragon fruit is easy to uh, take care of uh, you plant it let it uh, grow up the post you started uh, trimming it and then you started uh, the, mat the plant matures and then you'll start to have uh, flowers and then it becomes a fruit okay so uh, pretty much easy well not quite uh, since I've been getting uh, flowers I've uh, started researching about it and found out that there are two uh, types of uh, dragon fruit when it comes to uh, producing fruit from flowers I can uh, you can generalize it as a uh, these two types one is the fertile one which means that once you have a flower and it becomes pollinated it becomes a fruit while the other one is the sterile one which uh, you have to cross pollinate it to become fruit now if you get uh, dragon fruit that's sterile and you still and you only have one variety which is the sterile one uh, there's no amount of uh, cross-pollination between the same plant that is sterile that will produce fruit so if you have a sterile dragon fruit and you keep on cross-pollinating and you still don't bear fruit uh, the only reason there is you're not bearing fruit is because your dragon fruit is sterile. It needs a fertile, another fertile dragon fruit that you can cross pollinate to bear fruit. So if you have a dragon fruit that's been like a two year old, three year old dragon fruit and it's bearing flowers and after uh, the flower blooms it drops the flowers and doesn't bear fruit you probably have a sterile kind of uh, dragon fruit so so there are two kinds of dragon fruit so the other one which is fertile you don't need to cross pollinate it's pretty much will bear fruit by itself some varieties don't even need hand pollination to bear fruit they just grow and bear fruit and that's it so that's why how to increase your uh, to increase the chances of your flowers turning into uh, fruit is you can do a cross pollination between let's say you have a sterile and a fertile dragon fruit so that's the only way so if you planted uh, a sterile dragon fruit in the first place what you can do another thing is to plant another dragon fruit that is known to be fertile and you can increase your chances of cross-pollination and thus bearing fruit so what I did with mine is I planted a known um, fertile dragon fruit with my other dragon fruit that I don't know what kind of variety it is. So so it will increase the chance of uh, uh, producing fruit eventually. That's what that's what I did. Another way to increase your uh, uh, chances of having fruit in your 
dragon fruit is start with a uh, known fertile dragon fruit so pretty much uh, just make sure your uh, variety is the fertile variety which is uh, some they they call it some uh, say uh, it's self-pollinating so if, if you know what kind of variety you want and you make sure it's a uh, a fertile variety then you pretty much make sure that uh, you have a fruit that's going to be developing from flowers another I've seen that uh, the growers do is uh, pretty much uh, plant together two varieties uh, so that there'll be cross-pollination and even the growers they make sure that both of those varieties that they plant together in one post is both or are both uh, fertile or self-pollinating to make sure that's pretty much they have fruit afterwards so you can do hand pollination uh, planting two varieties that are fertile in one post that increases your chances of bearing fruit another one is of course uh, starting with uh, two two known uh, fertile dragon fruit so uh, the one I have now the the flowers that I have I don't know what kind of variety if they're uh, fertile or not fer fertile so I'm monitoring my flowers once they open up I'll be uh, collecting pollens and do my cross hand pollination so that uh, I can get some fruit from this since I don't know what variety I have okay hopefully this video helps uh, you in your own uh, dragon fruit right dragon fruit planting have a good one thank you for watching